we're now going to talk about the other stuff that I said we would talk about. Right, uh, we were up to the contour editor. So now we'll just skip the smooth editor, we don't need to worry about that just yet. Um, the perspective tool is something that's interesting, um, but in a fairly limited way I think it's it's um, it's good uh, for, for manipulating drawings. Um, but let me show you what it does. Um, I'm going to put a little hole in the middle of this squares to demonstrate something. Um, I'll select it with the perspective tool, which is under the contour editor. Perspective, select. Now, um, let's give it a perspective effect. And you'll see, if you know perspective well, you'll see some of some limitation straight away. Um, okay, see, I've given this a perspective look, but now if you know perspective, you would you could see that this halfway point should really be here somewhere um, along this line, not down here. Uh, that's still in the middle. So what it's done, it's... Um, hang on, let me try and... Anyway, uh, yeah, it, it's there. It's, it's still halfway. It hasn't moved up in perspective as, you, as it should if it was a real perspective tool. It should be like somewhere along or somewhere around there. Anyway, that's just getting beside the point. This is a, a an interesting thing to play with um, and for manipulating drawings, and you can you can get perspective effect by playing around with a perspective tool, and it's very good. Um, perspective tool, you can rotate things as well. I think. Oh no, you can't. Jeez, I've got the select tool. Uh, I should have covered that when I was talking about the select tool. Actually, um, when you select something with the select tool you have um, scale and rotate handles and um, and the pivot point but if I put the pivot point up here and then I deselect and then I reselect the pivot point has reset uh, and same if if I rotate deselect and reselect the envelope select envelope has reset itself so it's um it's just for basic manipulation of your drawings and that's fine so delete that. We talked about the perspective tool. Now let's talk about the the gradient editor. This is the next one in the, under the contour editor tool. Gradient edit texture. You um, you saw me use that in the previous exercise when I was doing the sky in the previous um, series. Um, now I'm going to use this gradient color here that I made. I'm going to create a. S I'm going to make a sky. Now I'll just zoom out so you can see the thing because it's quite big sometimes. Um, if I select the gradient, uh, edit gradient slash texture, because you can add textures to, um, you, you can paint stuff with texture, um, and it's just a matter of importing the textures, which is similar to what can what you can do in Flash. You can paint with bitmaps as well as gradients and and flat color. Um, here, uh, if I click on that now, I, you can see I've got this envelope and the envelope has rotate scale squash and stretch and skew handles in the middle I can move that middle point to move the hot spot of the gradient around the place uh, on the top corner there's the scale I can scale that down the the sides are squash and stretch and the little ones in the middle are skew and of course the rotate one is the little handle hanging off the side Okay, what's next? We're going to talk about the brush tool, so I'll end this one here. Uh, let's see if there's anything else I can quickly talk about. Um, I may as well do a quick smooth editor thing. Um, no, I won't. That's beyond the scope of this. Um, and also, I haven't used it that much. <laughs> so I'm just going to delete that. And... Yeah, we'll talk about the brush tool, which has um, a whole bunch of options that we'll be uh, covering. We'll be able to get right into depth in the next video. Might dedicate the whole next video to the brush, because it's great. See you soon.